girls, gays, and theys, bitches, bros, and non-binary hoes. Welcome to my YouTube channel yet again. My name is Rumi, or Agent Kitty Meow Meow, and today I could be making an entire 30 hour long video on these two fruitcakes because they are really taking over my life, but I have decided that I will probably never get around to finishing that and I wanted to make a shorter video just to get a content out or a video out. Plus, this specific scene has been on my mind for so long and I'm literally losing it over it. I'm going insane. I'm still going crazy over it. It's not funny. And what's sad to me is that a lot of people did not understand what this scene was saying at all because this honestly seemed like a translation error to most and even to me until I realized what it actually meant and I started screaming. And now you're probably thinking, Rumi, what are you even talking about right now? Well, let me tell you, this isn't small potatoes. That line just seems so silly and out of pocket considering how serious this scene is. I mean, Akechi is coming back from the dead and he is saying that he would rather die then be brought back from the dead to be controlled by Maruki in this false reality. He wants to control his own path, which is just, I mean, it's really sad, obviously, right? And I mean, I'm, me and most Persona players were probably sitting at the computer crying at this, or at least I was, you know, PS4, computer, whatever it was, or maybe it's because Goro Akechi is taking over my life, I'm not too sure, but, my point is, the phrase, this isn't small potatoes, just sounds extremely goofy and silly. However, this line means so much more than that. Now, this phrase comes from the very old Russian saying that says, love is not a potato, you cannot throw it out the window. And I mean, first time hearing that, you're thinking, well, obviously, it's not. It's Love is obviously not a potato, everybody knows that. This phrase means that love is not a small thing and you can't get rid of it easily. And that just by itself is like a whole little love confession, right? Except it has even more depth to that, or at least I believe so. Even if you see their relationship as platonic, this clearly shows that Rin does not hate Akechi at all. And in fact, quite the opposite. And it holds so much more depth because this isn't a situation of just it's not a big deal. It is life and death here, and Goro has only suffered so much. If only they could just have a little bit of time together. Maybe they just met sooner. It would have been fine for them, but because due to the situation, it had to end so tragically for them. And like I said, if you want to view this as platonically, even still, this still has so much weight to it because this is like, um, Joker just wholeheartedly saying, please don't die, Akechi. Like, it was already so heartbreaking in Shido's palace, but the fact that he kind of has to witness it again because of Marky bringing him back to life is, is so tragic, dude. No, personally, I like to be delusional because of that scene with Akechi and the true ending, but shh, we're not talking about that. But in a nutshell, I'm just trying to say that this isn't just some silly little joke, it's not a mistranslation, it's not whatever, it is genuinely romantic implications. This is queer coding, in my personal opinion, and yes, you can argue that it's platonic, but still, they don't hate each other, and I'm tired of people saying that they do. So thank you for coming to my little rant video. And hopefully I will be able to upload more now because um, I have more motivation, I guess. I don't know how else to describe it. Like, uh, I just kind of feel like it, you know? Whereas as of late, I just haven't been feeling like making videos at all. And I just feel like laying down and sleeping all day. But really, I do hope that I can make more content in the future. And I hope that you enjoyed this little video because I enjoyed making it. So thank you for watching and have a good day. Goodbye and tell me your opinions in the comments, please.